Hello friends, Big Stubber in here. Welcome back to the North Country Cycle. We're on scenario two of three, the Rotham Township. Before we get started, let's go ahead and check the campaign log and the deck builder. Um, not too much to report. We were goody two-shoes in the first scenario. We didn't kill any officers. That was the main thing. We were able to cross a blocked road right under the nose of the sheriff. Let's see, I need to actually spend that experience. Um, let's go ahead and look at the deck builder to see what we changed. Um, pretty cut and dry. Uh, we're going to take the ornate bow. Ursula obviously doesn't have a whole lot of um, fighting potential, and the ornate bow is, uh, well, pretty good to plug that hole for somebody with really, really high agility as Ursula does, and not too many other options. Obviously, the bow has some issues. It's two-handed, and you have to waste actions knocking more arrows, but it's uh, it deals Three damage and we can fight at a base skill of six so that's pretty good didn't really know what to take out um, I think the tooth of Etsley is is a pretty good card but decided to take that one out so here's a quick little look at the deck um, again the weird part for me is not going with strange solution or one of those upgrade assets that you can discover during the first scenario. It's probably bad for a three scenario campaign in the first place and Ursula has a very definite need so a pretty straightforward upgrade path in my um, my opinion. Um, let's go ahead and get caught up on the story and then get started. A fiery apocalypse. You have finally reached the township of Rotham as the sun begins to sink. It's clear something odd is going on here. You haven't seen any townsfolk around, and the streets appear abandoned. There is a smell of burning wood drifting through the air, but it's mixed with a harsher odor you can't identify. Just then, you see a belching flash of flame arise in the distance, accompanied by a loud whoosh sound. Something has just erupted in blaze and it occurs to you that it will probably spread. You've got to find out what is causing the town to burn. Carefully, you begin to explore the town, risking a fiery death as you get closer to the, fl the flames. And there's our setup. Um, because we pass the block road, we get the stolen motorcycle into our deck, and we get to begin play at Caffrey's General Store. Uh, locations are pretty cool in this one. It's fairly complicated. Um, a lot of things aren't connected to each other, but because we have that motorcycle, we'll be okay. In fact, I'm actually going to switch back to the player area and show off the bicycle here. It's permanent. It's an item. It's illicit, being stolen, of course. You may move between any Rotham Street's locations as if they were connected. You may ignore the forced effect on blazing fire locations. And as a fast action, you can choose one, attach the stolen motorcycle to your current location, or take control of the stolen motorcycle. So I guess we can abandon and hop on the motorcycle as we please. Um, I don't know if people are going to be confiscating the motorcycle if they happen to show up and see that we have it. That's my guess. Uh, our basic weakness is still chronophobia. Just wanted to show that to you just to catch everybody back up to speed. Um, one last thing. Our main mechanic in this campaign is immobile. Again, immobile enemies are, you guessed it, immobile. Even if they somehow had the hunter keyword, they don't move. If they're engaged with you and you move, they don't move. Any card effect wants it to move, it's not going to move. Here's the scenario card. Uh, apparently we're going to find some charred men. That'll be fun. Um, the cultist is minus X. X is the total number of blazing fire locations in play. And the rock is a minus 3 place of doom on a charred man enemy. I think we have a rock. Do we? Uh, we do have a rock. Okay. We have everything but the uh, Elder thing, and this scenario is not built for it. So, I'm going to 
change the camera just a little bit. Um, I like it a little more up and down. I don't like it completely up and down, which is an option, but anyway. Agenda 1A, Rotham is burning. The township of Rotham is on fire, and you have a bad feeling that the fire is going to spread. You've caught glimpses of mysterious figures in the smoke, but you're not sure if you saw fleeing citizens or something more sinister. All Rotham officer enemies gain the keyword surge. If the Rotham officer does not have a spawn keyword, it also gains spawn, any connected adjacent location. If you are in a woods location, resign. Perhaps snooping around town is a bad idea. You slip into the dark forest to wait and watch. And our Act 1A with a beefy 8 clues per investigator. Investigate the Inferno. Once inside Rotham, it's clear that there are fires burning all around. As you observe the town, you realize that the flames will continue to spread. With a sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach, it occurs to you that the blaze is not spreading naturally. There must be some purpose or logic guiding the destruction of Rotham. You just need to find out why. Nothing to do now but poke around. And we get to start at Caffrey's General Store. It has zero clues per investigator. Or, it's interesting, it's per investigator, not just a straight zero. Uh, two actions, play one non-relic, non-tome item asset with a cost of four or less from your hand without spending resources. Limit once per game. It appears that someone has broken in and ransacked the place. Perhaps it wouldn't hurt to take a look around for something they might have missed. Let's go ahead and draw an opening hand. Get the show on the road. Yeah, I'm just going to change the let's see, an angle just a little slightly there. Anyway. All right, we're not going to keep chromophobia, of course. We've got Milan. We've got, I've got a plan. Um, working a hunch is okay. Um, I don't know the... The Shroud of Coming Things. They're probably going to be pretty low if we need eight clues. That is my guess. Um, I think I'm going to pitch most of this to try to get some more assets out. Um, I'll keep Emergency Cash. And I'm going to draw three more. I'm going to draw one more. <laughs> okay, field work is awesome. Art student kind of uh, not so good because we have Milan and why play uh, art student over the other, I guess. Um, we'll shuffle that up. I wonder if people play Charisma, Ursula. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to just play Fieldwork, Emergency Cash, Dr. Milan. So if we do all of this, We will have two resources left. Four plus two is six, and then five plus three is eight. So that's our turn. Go ahead and draw a card, grab a resource. Ooh, Hawkeye folding camera. That's worth waiting a second. Um, let's go ahead and add a doom. It's a small encounter deck to start. I'm sure we're going to shuffle in some things first, uh, sooner than later. And we draw the Charred Man, aloof monster humanoid. Revelation, place a doom on him. Test agility for. If successful, discard any doom it has. Worst at the end of the mythos phase, if Charred Man has no doom, shuffle it back into the encounter deck. Forced when the Charred Man is defeated, set it aside out of play. Then gain one clue from the box. It was completely burned and should not be alive. Yet it moved, leaving behind symbols marked in ash. It's a pretty scary picture there. It is aloof, so we don't have to take it with us. Um, we're definitely not equipped to go kill this thing, so I'm not going to bother. It does have a doom, which means we're in the witching hour. 
You must have a lot of agendas. Or one agenda. Okay, that's interesting. We must be flipping back and forth here. Uh, very short scenario. <laughs> um, let's play the Hawkeye folding camera. Because it is best right now. And we will go to either the town square or the hardware and feed. Um, I don't think we have any reason to do one above the other, so we'll move here. Bill Eklund runs the largest store in Rotham, selling hardware and farm supplies. Nearly every farmer for miles around makes a regular trip to Eklund's. Okay, we have two clues on here. First, if you fail an investigate test at this location, take a horror. So, I'm going to... See, if I remember to put a clue down here, I didn't. So again, I'm just going to put this in a copy of this in our threat area and the clues so we don't have to be staring at the location. Um, the location area all the time. Um, so we can take our free Ursula action, exhaust field work. So we are a four, uh, five, six, field work, seven for Milan, for plus four. Okay, minus three. So we get that. Um, we get a resource from Milan. I will exhaust him, because we are playing Tempted Rules, I think. So we'll do that. And then I'm just going to investigate again. Um, we're plus one. Plus two with Milan. So let's do that. Plus two is pretty good. Most of the time, plus one I found is about a six, is about a one, two thirds proposition, at least early in campaigns. Later on, I'm sure it's a little worse. So we get an evidence on Hawkeye folding camera, so now we have plus one willpower. So that's nice. We go ahead and remove this, since we're not going to be uh, investigating any longer. Draw the bow. That's good. Fortunately, we don't have enough hands for that, so the bow is probably going to stay there um, in case we draw a boss. Um, yeah. Okay, anyway, let's. We're going to lose that doom because we're immediately going to advance. And we'll see what the back of this agenda deck does. With a loud crack, another. So if all nine locations have been replaced with burning fire locations, R1. Oh, we're not doing that. Um, the town can still be saved, although the fires continue to erupt across town. There's still a chance to stop the conflagration. Draw the top card from the Rotham Ablaze Encounter deck and place it into play revealed. Flip this agenda back to the Rotham is Burning side. So, that is the Blazing Fire locations. Residential block. Test willpower 3. If you fail, take 2 or. So we've got... So we really have 11 times 3. We have a ton of time, except... Oh, these guys are going to be... Uh, coming out to add some doom. Anyway, test willpower 3. We're natural 3 plus 1 with um, Hawkeye. Voltus is minus X. Total number of blazing fire locations in play. There's none. Um, let's make sure. Do I need to set a location of a blaze or anything? I don't think so. Um, hmm. Hoping I'm doing this okay. Sorry. The uh, the fun of playing blind. Okay, good. That's what we look. Drawing blazing fire locations. Certain cards will instruct you to draw from the blazing fire deck. 
When you do, the following rules apply. When a blazing fire location is drawn, reveal the location. It then matches the existing location that matches its title. The old location is removed from play. If it had a victory point value and no clue tokens, it goes to the victory display. All investigators and enemies remain at the new blazing fire location. Any cards attached to the previous location become attached to the new location. Well, all tokens in the old location are returned to the token pool. The new blazing fire location enters, play revealed, and collects new tokens as indicated. Um, so are these going to be so residential block? Is there something just called residential block? Absolutely not. So I wonder if that's just, there's a treachery and most of these are locations. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. So we just got a different, a, uh, a unique-ish one for us. So no locations are set ablaze. That makes sense. There's only nine locations in there. So we passed that test. Um, now we need to draw from the encounter deck, unfortunately. I'm going to double dip here. Whirling Conflagration. Take three damage and three horror. You may discard two cards from your hand or from play. For each card you discard, reduce the damage and horror taken by one each. Alright, well, we don't need Art Student. Um, so now we're down to two and two. Milan can take a horror. So we're down to two damage and one horror. We could discard no stone unturned. Um, we're pretty set up at the moment. We've got pretty much everything I need, so I don't know if I'm going to be using time to play No Stone on Turn. As good as the card is that is, I think I'd rather stay healthy. So that means we take one damage, one horror. We'll take the damage. Lon takes the horror. Okay. Maybe we should have kept No Stone on Turn, but maybe we don't. Anyway. Let's get moving here. Um, we can go anywhere we want because we have the bike. Um, but I think I'm just going to move around the perimeter here to the Rotham Jailhouse. Although I don't know if I want to go to the Jailhouse. I wonder if that has clues on it or not. Because it's another one of those starting locations. So maybe we don't. Let's make sure I'm using the bikes, uh, the bicycle, or the uh, motorcycle. Between any Rotham Street's locations as if they're connected. No, that's Woods, Rotham Street's. It's not Woods. Okay. Let's go to Mayor Forthset's house. Okay, we've got some clues. Two of them, to be exact. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three shroud, two clues per investigator. You may spend an action to take a clue from the token bank, and then shuffle the encounter discards back into the encounter deck. Reveal the top encounter card limit once per game. Wonder if we'll need to do that or not. You catch glimpses of shadows and movement, but you cannot see clearly what is going on. Well, I think this calls for an investigation. Um, using Ursula's free action and field work. So again, we're a four, we're a five, we're a seven. And that's a win. Do that. Resource from Mr. Milan. Then we will try it again. We are a four or five this time. Okay, we just got that one. So we're halfway there. And we get another resource on the camera. And, and now we have a an extra uh, investigate skill, which is great. So let's move. 
It doesn't take advantage of the free Ursula action, of course, but that's uh, not really something to play around. Um, let's go ahead and try the... Uh, can't go there with the motorcycle. Um, let's go to the middle town square. Okay, and it's a simple three shroud, one clue. The square appears abandoned. You spot the occasional indication that someone has been here recently, but left in a hurry. Over there is a lunch set out and half eaten. On a bench is a small bag of breadcrumbs for feeding birds. In the street, a single shoe. Where has everyone gone? And I'll throw a clue on that. But that's our turn. Go ahead and draw a card. Get a deduction. And let's see what our doom is. Doom encounter, wall of fire attached to the current location when an investigator moves to or away from this location, test agility 3. If failed, take 2 damage or cancel movement. We can discard the wall of fire with 2 actions. Okay. So that we can't um, use tricks to get out of, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and investigate. We're now a 4, 5, 6 against three. Alright, we get that clue. So, um, do we want to get rid of the wall of fire? I feel like we've, we're making good time with Ursula, so I, I think we can spend some of that gained tempo that we have to get rid of this. Maybe that's a stupid decision, maybe we draw another fall, you know, wall of fire. But that's what we're gonna try. Get rid of this location, we don't need it anymore. Draw a card, gain a resource. We also get another resource on Hawkeye Folding Camera. Now we have plus one sanity. So that's cool. Anyway, end of the turn. Out of Doom. Draw a wall of fire. Oh no. Pursuing footsteps. Test willpower for if you fail, lose an action. We have uh, we're tied here thanks to the camera. Oh my goodness, we're getting lucky. Yeah, that's pretty good. Plus zero is usually sometimes a third if you're lucky. Most of the time, not so much. Um. Yeah, that was uh, 5 out of 16, so not quite a third, but pretty close. Anyway, let's go ahead and get moving here. Um, we can't go there. We go to the Lumberjack Cafeteria. We can't go there. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to the cafeteria, see what we can find. To, um... Two shroud, one clue, heal damage or horror. The restaurant is vacant, but the food is still good. Oh, that's good. We can get a bite to eat. Town's, you know, burning down, but we could, uh... <laughs> we need some, uh... We need a snack. You know, maybe it's happy hour. Anyway. Um... Do we even need to use field work at this point? I'm a four, five... Six against two. Yeah, I don't even need field work. We'll, we'll save it. Use Ursula's free action. Yep, grab the blue. We got the six now. Get rid of this. Let's go up here. I'm going to adjust this camera just a little bit. I have to. Remind myself to do that. Um, so we can go now to the Hullet House or the Hullet Lumber Mill. Um, since the mill is connected to other things, we'll go this way. Two clues. That's all that we need, actually. Four Shroud. 
forced when an enemy engages an investigator at this location. Test investigate three. If you fail, take damage. At the end of the mythos phase, we have to test willpower three. If you fail, take a horror. The lumber mill is filled with places to hide, and something gruesome has happened here. Oh, that sounds bad. And now we are going to use field work. Um, so we moved, we reactioned, we moved again. So this is our last action. So we are a four, five, six, seven, eight against four. And we got that. So now we just need one more clue. And our turn's over. Um, shortcut is a handy thing to have. And just going to change this a little bit. Okay, this rolls over. We get to flip another card over here. Rotham Jailhouse. Okay, so these are removed, and this has a clue on it. Uh, revelation, replace the yep. investigators and enemies at this location take damage. Any investigators who were in lockup are released. Forced when moving to this location, choose one. Test agility 2 or fight 2. If you fail, take damage. Let's go ahead and... No, oh, we don't. We're not there, we don't need to put that location there. Okay. Let's uh, move our camera out of whack again. <laughs> I mean, it to be a Dutch angle here. There we go. Uh, another charred man. Fortunately, they are aloof. For now. Alright, back to our turn. We are plus three, if I remember the calculus right. No, we're plus two. Uh, yeah. Plus two. We could work a hunch. We have plenty of resources. So maybe that's a better idea. Okay, and that is in the victory pile. And then, do we need to be anywhere to spend this? Absolutely not. So let's spend it and see what we got here. Fire below. The fires rage from below the earth. All over town, the flames are drawn to the surface, bursting through and torching everything nearby. Where the fires have erupted, you found a set of strange symbols traced in ash and charred bark. You believe that these designs are related to the fires. If they are destroyed. That will bring an end to the fires? On the other hand, you know that you're not alone in the town, but what we've seen aren't civilians. It must be a person responsible for leaving the symbols behind. Would it be better to track them down? Time is running out and you must decide what to do next. If you try to stop the fires, place Act 2, save Rotham in a play. If you want to try and track down who is responsible, place Act 2, find the Pyromaniac Shaman in play. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to look at these, because I think that would be metagaming. I'm going to look at the axe. Um, I do have the bow on me, so if Act 2 is just kill the shaman, we have an okay go at it. We could just save Rotham. Um, I don't know, I've been playing lawful good in too many of these games. I think we're going to try to find the shaman. So we just use this act too. You've learned enough about the strange symbols to know that they're being left by a person or persons. It's just a matter of tracking down whoever is responsible and bringing them to justice. 
The investigators may, as a group, spend the requisite number of clues to track down Landon Hollett. Spawn him at Hollett Lumber Mill. If Landon Hollett is defeated, advance. So we need to spend four clues to spawn him, and then we need to kill him. Um, so that sounds good. Let's... A full turn ahead of us, so let's move. Um, it's the wood, so we can't teleport too much. So we can go to the Hollet House. We have too many places to check out. Um, we got the Jail House, we need to put a fresh clue on that. That's not a clue. Oh, there we go. Um, we can go to the... can't go to the old barn, it's not connected. So if you want to check that out, we are going to have to go through the jailhouse. Um... We checked out all of the Rotham Street's locations, unfortunately. So, let's shortcut. Shortcut our way to the estate house. The, yeah, fence the state, hold it house. So, uh, free action, and this is our first actual action. And we will just copy paste that. Looks like we have two clues. Alright, the hold it house. Shroud 4. Two clues per investigator. Revelation. Shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. Reveal and discard encounter cards until a non-monster enemy is revealed. Spawn that enemy at this location, disregarding any other spawn instructions. Then, once more, shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. Alright, well that's fun. Um, let's go ahead and flip that over. Start peeling for a non-monster enemy. Well, that's a non-monster enemy. And then we would need to shuffle all that stuff back in, but we uh, found the humanoid at the first try. Disciple of Cinders, uh, 3, 2, and 3. Humanoid cultist while at an inferno location. The disciple gets plus 1 fight, plus 1 health, plus 1 horror. Along with the traits crazed and inferno, the knife wielding man seemed to crave the flames as if they gave him strength. His clothes were singed at the fringes, and patches of scorched flesh gleamed as if fresh. However, he did not seem to notice. All right, assuming there's no other random rules, um, it's not an officer, so we're not getting search here. We're going to need to evade that disciple. Um, I can field work this, so that would be nice. So I am a four. With field work makes me a six against three. I could take a investigate action. And correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't think this, because um, it's a reaction, that wouldn't um, lead to an attack of opportunity. I know if you take an investigate action with somebody on top of you, that yes, that's an attack of opportunity, but it's a reaction, not an action. So, I don't know. Maybe that's right, maybe that's not. So we'll do that. We'll take the uh, the free move then, or the free investigate. It is a four. We are a four, five, six, um, seven, and that looks fine. So yeah, you know, we beat everything but the, but the four. But I guess we have to use um, we have to use field work or else we lose it. So. We'll be plus uh, six now. Okay, so we get two clues there. So we are all done with clues. 
Now we're going to need to evade the disciple. We're going to be plus one, which is a little less, um, a little less fun, but uh, get another victory display. Okay, plus one. That is not good. And we place a doom. Another doom. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Minus four, no dice. Okay, we take damage. Fortunately, they don't do a lot of damage, so I'm not too worried about that. We'll draw a no stone unturned. Let's go ahead and add a doom. Actually, this is going to flip over. Thanks to our pal here, the charred man. What's our next blazing fire location? The hardware and feed. Right there. Okay, has a clue on it. Revelation. Yep, same same deal there. And draw a card. Uh, I don't know if I. Yeah, I shuffled. Uh, another thing. whirling conflagration. Take three damage. Take three horror. Discard some cards. I guess I'll discard no stone unturned again. And then we'll just take two damage. I don't know what that's doing there. And two horror. Alright, that's unfortunate, but can't be helped. Alright, we're plus one. No go. Hmm. I don't want to discard ornate though. So I guess we're gonna have to take Keep taking these tests. Plus three. Um, yeah, until I draw another evade symbol, I think. Well, at this point, um, we're just evading to avoid damage. But what we could do is move, take an attack of opportunity. But we don't have any new to us. Um, no, we do. We could go to the hardware and feed. But I don't know. I don't think I want to do that. We'll just try to evade. We're plus one. Trying to avoid damage here. Okay. We avoided damage, but... He's going to go right back on top of us, unfortunately. He shall draw a flashlight. Kind of irrelevant at this point. That's fine. Um, add a doom. Oh. Oh boy. Draw another one of these guys. Hmm. Do we play the bow? It takes some. It takes some hits, but I'm kind of tired of taking plus one tests. And this is the folly of Ursula. One of those glass cannons that might not be set up. And their problem goes off. Um, let's. Yeah, it's going to lower some things, unfortunately. Let's get rid of the resources. I'm going to take two damage here. I'm going to use four of these. And let's start shooting. So we're a four, five, six. Six against three. Great. Um, I don't want to move. And then um, we can't knock an arrow. We're going to die really fast if we're uh, doing that. So let's just try to evade. Uh, oh, good. Nice one. 
that's gonna Okay, so it's back on top of me. Draw a card. Manual dexterity is very nice. I would be fine with just getting away from this thing now. Um, let's add a doom. Did I add a resource? I did. Okay. Test will power four if you fail losing action. Okay. Nothing I can do to help that means we're minus one. Yeah, no dice, we take, we lose an action. Alright, I shall evade, use manual dexterity to be plus three. Awesome. So, row him right back there, hopefully to never deal with it again. Um, I get to draw a card, and I get to move to a connecting location. Um... So let's plan this out because we can move to any city location. Um, yeah, I think we gotta go right there. And we will copy that. And we don't need that. It's got one clue. So we moved to the hardware and feed, which is a blaze. Um, we ignore the forced effect, fortunately, so we don't have to test, make a test to uh, avoid some damage. We will investigate this guy. Uh, free action, reversal of downs. So we are a four, five, six, seven against four. And we could be an eight, but um, I don't know. There were the and there was this cards to deal damage that we need to keep cards in our hands against. Um, that's a minus three. Place a doom on the nearest charred enemy. That actually is inconsequential. We were gonna flip the agenda deck over anyway. So let's grab a clue. Let's get rid of this location. Grab a resource for Milan. And then let's see, get rid of that clue. We have three, we need one more. So we'll move to the jailhouse. Again, um, same thing, shot of four, one clue. All investigators and enemies at this look. Okay. Okay, investigate at plus one. Let me do the same thing again. Okay. No help there, but that's okay. That's kind of a Hail Mary of sorts. It's a problem with having two hand slot in here. We can't uh, can't use a flashlight, so that's bad. Dark card resource. Jake Williams is a couple of, uh, of the Vicons for us, at least. Um, let's get ready. Get rid of the Doom on that charred gentleman. I think they're gentlemen, I guess we don't know. Um, again, we need to flip over a location. We've got nine. The old barn. Okay, I think that's right there. Then let's see what our counter card. We have drawn another charred man. Okay. Um, we shall try to, to investigate. Ditching Jake for two investigate icons, or for his icons, one investigate, one wild. Here are four. Five, six, seven against four. Okay, minus three. In place of doom. Which means the agenda is going to immediately roll over again. 
unfortunately. But at least now we can spend our clues and spawn the enemy. That's good. Let's see. Is this it? It sure is. Landon Hullet. Immobile. When Landon Hullet attacks, if the target has an even number or no clues, take one more damage. Otherwise, take one more horror. Then the target gains a clue. Okay, I think we have to spawn at the Hullet house, which is kind of annoying. No, at the lumber mill. Okay, good. Yeah, that's good, because we don't want to go back to the Hullet house with an enemy on it. Is that an action? That is not. So we still have two actions left. We need to knock an arrow. And then, um, let's see. Let's move, using our bike, let's move up to here, the Lumberjack cafeteria. Call that a turn. Our card. Resource, acquiring mine, I don't think is going to help us, but yeah, it's not going to help us. We already researched or investigated that location, unless um, this flips over and becomes a burning location, which is possible. Get rid of the doom again. If I was a fighter, I wonder if it would be worth it to, um, I mean, I guess if I was running like Rita, you could get rid of that doom because it's a test of four agility, but I don't even know if that would be um, super smart. Okay, we have eight cards. Lumberjack Cafeteria, that's right where we're at. Um, Revelation, we have to take damage. Uh, we are at six. I think Milan's about to die. I don't know if there's force damage in this scenario. There hasn't been, so yeah, I guess we'll take the damage instead. I don't know. Probably inconsequential. Hopefully, let's draw a card. Attach the current location. When investigator moves, we have to test agility three. That is bad. We're going to need to discard this immediately, I think. Um, or we could test. Um. Alright, so test Agility 3. We have a manual dexterity. And we're going to have to shoot bullets here and then evade him. We have no clues, so I can't use Inquiring Mind. We have one manual dexterity. So if we do move, so let's move, try, let's try the move action. If we fail, we'll cancel the movement and spend two actions to discard the wall of fire. If we get our move off, we shall fire the bow and, um, and then evade at that point. Although, we're going to have to, I guess, spend a turn, like, re-evade, so we can knock the arrow, knock another arrow. We're going to have to shoot bullet twice to win. Okay, so let's try the move. We are plus one. I'm not going to help my, I'm not going to discard manual dexterity for this. Uh, we pass, which is nice. We're going to move here. He's immobile, so I don't know if he's technically in our threat area. Probably something to find out. Uh, let me get engaged. Yeah, okay. He stays there. Um, so we get to attack. And we get to use field work, which is nice. So we're three. No, we're four. Five, six, seven, eight against four. 
Alright, we got that one. So we get to do three damage to land and hold it. And then we have a turn that we need to evade and we need to win this one. So I'm a six against three. Alright, good. So we evade him. Uh, we draw a card for manual dexterity. Okay, kind of useless, but that's okay. So he comes back on top of us. And that's our turn. Shortcut's pretty useful, actually. It's going to be very useful. Go ahead and add a Doom. Do we have any Doom on Shard, guys? Not right now. Our card. Wall of Fire, oh dear. So we're going to stay here. <laughs> stay <in> Pat. <laughs> we can't shortcut away, which kind of sucks because um, then we don't get to use field work. At least it gives us a um, an agility symbol. So we're going to try to evade him. We'll discard shortcut then. That makes us plus two. No go, auto fail. All right, we'll do it again, plus one. That's a fail. Do it again at plus one. That's a fail. So he's going to kill us. Yep. Okay. Ursula has died. To land in Holet, she went, she delved too deep into the uh, situation, went a little too far. Go to our, see what our resolution is. Um, if no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated, resolution won. You manage to slip away into the woods and watch helplessly as the township of Rotham burns to the ground. You wish you had been able to do more, but it just wasn't possible. However, from your vantage point, you notice a strange masked figure heading north into the woods. It certainly looks suspicious. You follow and notice that mysterious person dropped several pages from a charred, handwritten notebook. Not much is legible, but you do find references to the town, along with a place in the woods to the north. Apparently many years ago, prisoners would be executed here by being burned alive. Perhaps the best course of action is to follow the trail into the woods. Uh, continued. Seven, six, eight, that's five. Um, where is my other, oh, there it is. Seven, eight. There we go. In your campaign log, record that Rotham has been destroyed. In your campaign log, record that Landon Hullet has escaped. Um, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator also earns one bonus experience for summoning the courage to enter the burning town. So we're going to get two experience for this because we've got two locations. We are going to take a physical trauma. Back up to five. Land in. Oops, if I can type here. Land in. Oh, let's escape. And rock them. Uh, village. City, town. Not sure. Burn. Well, can't win them all. Next time, we will be at part three, which is called, <laughs> as it loads here in midair. Come on, game. Never mind, we will check out whatever scenario 3 is called. Oh wait, we got there? Into the gloomy woods. 
we'll check out into the gloomy woods next. So, I'm Big Stupid Grin, hope you enjoyed your time here, and until next time, have a good one.